here folks! Do you want to play Tetris while wearing a hat? You're welcome to do so, but if you want to play Tetris that's about hats, then welcome folks, one and all, to Let's Play Hattress, released in 1991 for the Nintendo Game Boy, with the version also being released for the NES. Hattress was developed and published by Bulletproof Software, and designed by Alexei Pachanov, the creator of Tetris. You may think, Tetris but with hats? How does that work? The game is showing you on the title screen. You have to stack up hats that are the same, and then they disappear. Sounds easy, right? No, it most certainly is not, and I will show you just how hard this game can be. There are various difficulty options here. The shop number there, between 0 and 5, determines how many hats are on the screen at the beginning. We want it at 0, because boy are we going to put lots of hats down before this is over. The stage is quite simple, it determines what level you start on. We want to start on level 1. And we want the music! Let's go! There are three types of hats to begin with, this cowboy hat, a baseball cap, and a sombrero. You move them like this with the arrow keys, you can switch their positions, and if you press down, they immediately fall, until one of the hats hits a different hat or the bottom, and then you can control the other hat. Sounds simple, right? It kind of is at this point, because there are only three types of hat to choose from. Hats that all stack up exceptionally differently. You can see here that the uh, sombreros do stack up kind of high, and the baseball caps do not. The cowboy hats do stack quite high as well, but not as high as the sombreros, I think. Like stacking up five hats at once, you get them to disappear. And you get one less on the uh, counter for finishing the stage. There is one problem though, there are a lot of hats that we need to stack. Right now we want to make sure that we stack as many hats as we can without making massive piles of hats that are incorrect, which will inevitably happen. There is no maybe about that, it will happen, the question is how terrible it will be. We're getting score every time we place down hats, which is good, because we need to get a high score, this game is all about score. We also want to get some of that fire counter. What does the fire counter do? It allows us to burn hats. If you have hats that are in the wrong place and you want to get rid of them, you use the fire. It replaces what's ever in the right hand side of what's to be dropped, you can see that in the uh, top right corner, with fire. It burns to every hat that is the same until it gets to a different one. Let us drop these, a double of a hat, they're quite rare. We'll put these down, and we'll keep dropping even more hats. As many hats as we can, for we need to drop 11 more pairs of hats, and while I was talking there, I accidentally put hats in the wrong location. This is a disaster, but it's not unsalvageable. None of this is unsalvageable. We need to manage things as well as we can at the early stages, for if we don't, terrible things will happen. Mainly concerning hats. If you don't like hats, this game is not for you, but if you do like hats, then hold on to your hat, lest it be put in this machine and drop down. I have no idea what's going on here by the way. Is this that there is a factory that is really poorly dispensing hats? Or is it that this is a shop and this is how the hats get to the uh, shop floor? We now have some fire. We could use that fire to get rid of these hats that are wrong, but we're not going to. We're going to save our fire. We're going to need it later. And sure enough, we have cleared away all of those hats. We're going to need to clear away a lot more hats later. So many more hats! How many? As many as will fall there. We have two more piles of hats to get rid of, and then we'll be on the next level that will introduce a different kind of hat. And I accidentally pressed down too quickly, that will happen occasionally. Too keen to press down, and you accidentally make a mistake, we want to get rid of that pile of hats. We're so very close to finishing this level, ideally we don't want an incorrect pile of hats. Marvellous! We have succeeded! Apparently there's a sale going on! All these hats must go! Who's buying all of them? We don't know, but welcome to the new kind of hat! The top hat, it is a very tall hat, but they stack exceptionally well. Try your best not to get them in the wrong location. If you do, bad things will happen. 
mainly involving hands. Lots of things are involving hands. You need to be very quick on your timing sometimes when it comes to moving hats to the correct location. Like here, for instance. We were a little too slow there, and something terrible has happened. It is time to remedy it with fire. Let's just put these here, like that. And then we're going to do uh, this and that to get rid of this one. I wanted to get rid of the one to the uh, far left, but I couldn't. So instead, we're just going to have to stack hats here. Fortunately, the game is generous enough to give you things that will help you remedy things, as long as you are quick enough in your reactions. Not like that. That was pretty dreadful. But we are getting a little bit closer to rectifying that mistake. We have a nice, empty space there to deal with, and we just have those hats, the sombreros, to take care of. We can do that thanks to things like this. And things like this, that will let us stack up the cowboy hats over to the right. We want to clear out one of those uh, things there. And get rid of that. Why not? We got some fire. Always good to get more of that. Always good to stack up more hats and not stack that top hat over there. That is a poor idea. We could start doing that now, though. There is a samurai helmet. I've never seen that before. It's going to go over there. Hopefully we can get rid of that eventually. And then we can never get rid of it. That might very well be a possibility. Maybe the samurai hat is just impossible to dispose of. Perhaps. We'll just put that there for now. And knowing my luck, we will uh, immediately get another samurai hat drop. We'll put that there. It's too dangerous to do so otherwise. Let's swap that round. More hats! So many more hats to drop! Just an abundance of hats! We have three more pairs of hats to make. Two more pairs of hats to make! And we still haven't gotten rid of that. We really should get rid of that, I think. Put that over there. Put this here. And this here. We've got rid of that! Time to move to the next level! I don't think there'll be a new hat here. But there may be new combinations of hats! Maybe. Let's move on! The music has changed! All of the music is exceptionally catchy! It definitely gets you in the mood for stacking hats. We'll put that there. It's not going to hurt at this point. I haven't seen another samurai hat yet! Let's put that there. That's a bad place for a hat, though. We should get rid of one of them. Like, for instance, all of them! So that when we find another of the uh, top hats, we can dispose of that whole pile. And start getting rid of all these hats that we put in the wrong place. It's going to happen a lot more than you think. Right now, it's all pretty under control. It's not going to stay under control, that's for sure. Put that there. This here. Hopefully we can get rid of that samurai hat. We probably can't. The samurai helmet. It's quite spacious. It has roughly the same uh, area on the uh, level as two cowboy hats. Probably that way round. Oops, we've messed it up. That's okay, we can rectify that. The game's even given us something to start doing, so... Put that there. We ideally want to actually get rid of this first. And the game has put that there, which is fine. That will go there. And that there! And another one, just to help us out even more! This will help us out immensely! We get more fire for our trouble! And we probably want to use it. Definitely want to use it! We can do that! And this is a terrible place to put anything. We'll put that there, why not? That's why not, because we really wanted that to be there instead. But we can start stacking these up! You see what tends to start happening? You start having to, uh, make piles of hats to deal with mistakes you made with other piles of hats. And soon, this will all compound into a massive pile of panic and chaos. No panic yet, though. We're doing pretty okay at managing the panic. Soon there will be panic. Let's put this here, get rid of that. We have five more piles of hats to make. Only five! That works quite perfectly. What about this? Also works quite perfectly. This a lot less so. Far less. We now have a terrible pile of hats. Everything is ruined! Cancel the hat parade! There was a hat parade? Now you know, and it's been cancelled! 
Never again will there be hat parade. But we will move to the next level, where a new hat will likely be introduced, the bane of all of our hat stacking efforts. But not just yet, we get a short reprieve. How short? Really not that short. Welcome! The clown hat. It's much like the atop hat, but we now have two things that stack really tall if you make a mistake. Try not to make a mistake with those hats. Not those ones. Make a mistake with other hats, fair enough. But don't make a mistake with the clown hat. It will go horribly wrong. Might as well stack things there. And there we go. And we probably actually want to use a, um... At some point we want to use a fire on that, um, samurai hat to get rid of it. Maybe, but right now if you look over to the uh, far left, that is a terrible pile of hats. It's not that bad yet. It will get worse, especially if I'm distracted and make terrible mistakes like that. We want some fire. We want some fire really imminently, because we have messed everything up. Let's do that, and get rid of that. Why not? It makes things a little bit more manageable. Do we want to make a mistake here? We do, because we can do this. And then we can stack these? I suppose we can. That is a terrible one there, but third one to the from the left. It's just a bad pile of hats. A pile of hats gone very wrong. But we can potentially sort it. As you can see, we have cleared the way to get to these ones. And maybe, just maybe, we can rectify the terrible mistakes that we've made with hats. Not for much longer though, because that happened. Oh dear, that happened. Can we pile these up? No, they're too tall. And that is bad. We almost had something there on the far left. Not anymore. It is now just terribleness. But we can stack these up. And we can stack those up! Ha ha! Tiny amounts of progress as we try to manage the inevitable failure of this uh, stacking operation. It's going to fail eventually. It's just a matter of when. We'll put that there for now. And this here really should have turned that round. For now, that pile of hats over there is just dreadful. We can get rid of these, though. Like so. Excellent. We can even do this. We can even do that. You think, hey, maybe this isn't going so badly. And then it gives you one of the clown hats. The clown hats are just dreadful, especially when they stack them up with a top hat. Maybe I should be putting them together, but I keep not doing so. And thus I keep having terrible things like this. And the fact that I can't do... Oh, nope, can't do anything with that because I was too slow. We do have some fire, though. Let's use that fire. Let's stack this up and then get rid of that. So that we can put these here. And maybe, just maybe salvage this. Maybe. Where did these go? Could put them there. Why not? And now we're making a pile of terribleness over on the far right. It's a pretty terrible pile of things. And the problem is we have only one pile of hats to go before we finish this level. And we're pretty soon to make that pile of hats. Right there. We have succeeded, but oh my, look at that terrible selection of hats. The left hand side is just waiting for a top hat thing there that we have right here. Marvelous. One step closer to solving everything. And now one step further away from solving everything. Oh, oh, Hattress. What you give, you take away in equal amounts. But we are very slowly, very slowly salvaging this. I'll keep saying that we're salvaging it. Maybe I'll convince myself. I'm not going to convince myself. Where do we want this? We actually want this over here. We want that over there so that we can do this and get some fire, and then immediately start dealing with this over here. And then putting this here, immediately making everything terrible, but going one step towards solving it. We probably want to put that there. We didn't want to put that there, but we have, because this will help us very slowly. Look, we might even get to where that samurai hat is. We are not going to get to the samurai hat. It's far more likely that we're going to lose dreadfully. But not just yet. Slowly, you think, I can salvage this, I can I can get this to work, I can get a pile of hats that isn't going to be dreadful. Then you get a pile of hats that's dreadful. And then it gets even worse. 
But for now, we have dealt with one pile of hats, and guess what? Time for a new pile of hats. A worse pile of hats. Where do we want to put this top hat? Over here, I guess. The uh, sombrero and the top hat actually stack together really well. Really well. Do we have enough, uh, yep, enough time to do that? And now we have this again. Might as well put that there, so that we can start stacking them up again. And the cycle begins anew. And you're too slow to deal with that. No matter how fast you uh, try, I imagine, it will end in failure. But we have more fire. More fire's good. What do we want to do? We want more fire at this point. We really do. Because we want to burn that away so that we have an empty space there. And unfortunately, we have to put one of those hats there. Put this here. And now, we can't put that all the way over to the left. Which means that we now have a problem. This is the problem. Oh no, it's not a problem! We've salvaged the problem and made it into a solution. That's a problem, though. That is a big problem. But we're dealing with the left-hand side. But not the right. The right is just getting worse. Progressively worse as time goes on. Just wait until they add another hat. Another hat, I hear you say? Oh yes, another hat. That sombrero does not belong on that top hat. That is bad. What is worse is that soon, it's about to get even more complicated. But not just yet, we're going to get a brief, brief reprieve. Exceptionally brief. We want to burn this and put that there. We could deal with this like that and then very quickly move that over there. Ha <laughs> ha, marvelous. Time to put that hat there and mess up everything. We actually have one free space, just one. Now we have two. You think, maybe, maybe, but no. The hats keep falling. They never stop falling. And this is why this game certainly grabbed my attention. After I saw it on that multi-cart, I thought, hmm, I'm not that uh, keen on this. And then you get to about level three and suddenly you're playing it for an hour. Might as well put that there, I guess. Oh look, we have nowhere to put this hat. We'll put it here, I guess. This at least works. This doesn't work, but if we're really quick, we can sort that. We can sort this too. Aha! Maybe we can sort this. Maybe... Maybe. Twelve more hat piles to sort out. Then the next level. Then the next kind of hat. There is one more kind of hat that needs to be introduced, and it is a terrible hat. It is a hat that will be the doom of anything you try to do. The hat that will end all of your attempts to do anything. Can we get rid of that samurai hat? I'll have to see at some point. Not just yet, though. For we have to take care of this by making another pile of terrible things. That terrible pile of things, by the way, is hats. And look, we can't do anything with that um, samurai helmet anymore because we've covered it with loads of hats. Way too many hats, but we can make a pile of these hats and deal with that pile. You need surprisingly quick reactions. You could take things a lot slower, but I feel that if you uh, go a little bit quicker, you can better get to something that will help you, because sometimes you'll be deliberating for way too long going, there is nothing here that will help me. But maybe there is, if you just uh, allow yourself to move on to other pieces faster. We can put this here. We can look at this hat here and go, why is this here? I do not want this hat. It's going there. Which is terrible because I've just covered up the uh, sombrero that I definitely didn't want to cover up. We're going to have to put this here, aren't we? Yes, we are. And put that there. At least this works. That at least works. This doesn't work. Oh no, it does. We could put that there. Ha ha. We can't do anything with this though. Nothing at all, except make a terrible pile of hats. An even worse pile of hats! It's getting progressively more terrible! And I accidentally made a uh, pile of hats there. This is a terrible selection of hats to move on to the next level with. Why? Because we're about to be introduced to the final hat. We have seen the final hat. It's on the far left every time we finish the level. We have now been introduced to the crown. The crown just takes up loads of space. That's what the crown does. It just hogs space. You don't want it to hog space, but it does. 
because that's what the crown does. It's like, hello, I'm just going to take up lots of space. And it did, and it was dreadful. We probably want to make a pile of hats there. And we can't move that one. And now we can't move this one, except over here, where things are starting to get progressively worse. We have a crown, and we have that. Pretty much what the crown does at this point is it appears and you go, Oh good, what can I do with this? Answer, really not a whole lot. Because I've covered up a crown. That's awful. You don't want to cover up crowns. Because crowns covered up make everything worse. Look at how everything's deteriorated already. Maybe I could have salvaged it. Not likely though. Because already we have situations where we just can't place hats. We can, however, make a small pile of hats here. We can't do anything with this hat, though. Or really this hat, because we don't want to cover up the crowns. We want to get rid of the crowns. Do we have enough room? No, we have just covered up the crowns. Remember when I said I didn't want to do that? I just did that, and it was terrible. Now we have more crowns! Crowns scattered everywhere. At this point, with the game throwing a new type of hat at you, it just signals your doom. For we are pretty much doomed now. We can put a crown here, it's not going to make much difference, because here comes this. We can't put anything there, we can get rid of that, but now we have this problem, which is another top hat. Can we do anything with this? We can do something with that, but then all we're doing is replacing that hat there. And we can do that, we can do this, maybe we might actually get rid of a pile of crowns! We did! Now we have this problem, which is another pile of hats quickly turn this round, and very quickly deliberate about how badly this could go. I believe we're starting to fail. This is categorised as failure, for it is extreme, and we actually want to do that so that we can do this, and we've covered up the top hats. Oh my, we covered up the top hats. We've covered up every kind of hat. I believe failure is inevitable. But how inevitable? About pretty soon. We can't even put anything to the left. That is how high up this pile of hats is. Are we going to fail? Yes. It is over. The hat dream has died. For now, we have gone over the line. The factory has failed. No more hats for anyone. The hat parade is forever cancelled. But, we did do quite well on score. And by quite well, I mean we got fifth. But hey, we'll put that score down. It's an achievement. K, I, K, and O. That spells Kiko. And while I may not be great at stacking hats, you're likely far better at it. Why don't you give it a go and see how many piles of hats you can make? Probably far more than me. That was Hatras, and I'm Kikoskia, and when we come back, folks, who knows what the future holds? Let's just hope it holds a lot less hats, eh? For I'm no good at stacking them. Or am I? No, no, I'm pretty terrible. Very terrible, in fact. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later. Hats! So many hats! Look at them fall from the sky! If he moves, the hats will continue to fall forever on the floor. Later.